I am about to expose some things. The video you just finished watching is a 15 years old boy from Abba. The same boy that the sister has been talking about for some time now. This terrorist recruited by Tinibu and Buhari kidnapped him in Abba. And since then, they have continued to torture him for no reason. You and I should know that this is quite terrible. The Nigerian military will be torturing a 15 years old Abba boy like this. In fact, very, very terrible. This boy we are picked on the road of Abba. You can see. This is evil. The worst is that Nigerian president called this reprisal. He calls it revenge because he ordered soldiers to go for revenge mission. It means he sanctioned this. Now tell me, if this is not here for what it is, tell me now, tomorrow, if this young boy is deceived by some people and he picked up arm and go after soldiers they will call him ipb member or they will call him instant security network whereas they are the ones that brutalize him they are the ones that lead him into carrying arms they are the ones that frustrated him humiliated him This is what we are talking about. Why should military be in our land? What is military doing in Igbo land? We are not fighting war. We are not doing anything dubious. We are businessmen in Aba doing everything business to make our ends meet. This boy sister is in lagos a doctor and i believe he is the particular boy this sister was talking about according to her he is 15 and him and the sister was picked maybe from the house you can see because why because they are living close to where the so-called attack happened I have asked this question several times. Was things like this going on in Igbo land before the military came into Igbo land? The answer is no, capital no. We all know that what was tormenting our land was full and terrorist. And for that reason, we find out that the leaders especially some governors then we are collaborating with Fulani Mietiala to bring in terrorists in our land after they have sold our land for them to occupy it this is was this was why eastern security network was created and they did their best in the forest and all these criminals and terrorists disappeared before Mietiala started threatening what Buhari did was to create Fulani terrorists as military just to make sure you use them to frustrate Igbo people. The way they are touching this boy, such thing cannot happen in the north. That is the truth. Now I want to show you another video in the north where the military. Ah, 
collaborating with Fulani terrorists. Apart from what some Igbo military are saying that whenever they catch Boko Haram or flying terrorists, they will be asked to release them. I want you to also see a video where you will see a Nigerian military, a Fulani man, collaborating with terrorists in the north. And you and I know that so many people have been killing not soldiers and everything. You can never see soldiers going after innocent people just like the way they are treating this boy you are seeing right there in that video now let's head on to the next video <laughs> Hello, hello, Sunusi. Dalla ina san kana ji. Ka biyo bakin hanya duka ka ga ma mutane cewa da Allah ga ga ba fulani nan za su zo su wuce ba ruwan kowa da su. An yi magana ne yanzu za su zo wucewa kawai za su. Ka gane abu bakin hanyar nan kar wanda ya ce wani abu ga su nan wucewa kawai za su. Da Allah abi ga su nan za su taho yanzu da Allah. Abi a gaya a gaya ma mutane. Thank you so much for watching that video. So many soldiers from Igbo extraction, from Edo extraction, has been killed in the north by Fulani terrorists or Boko Haram. You cannot see any president including Tunibu, ordering soldiers to go after innocent people just because soldiers were killed in the north part of the country. But when it comes to eastern region, the ones they call south, south and southeast, you will see any president of Nigeria will rise up that is when he will know that he is a man just to cause havoc the development of Oti is too big that they are afraid they don't want it to happen that was why they send criminals that was why they recruited criminals on their own the same soldiers or should i say some politicians who want to put it down by all means to go and kill innocent soldiers who was not confronting anybody some of you don't understand that ipub love what ot is doing in Abia State, they can never bring any harm to him. Not even as their leader Namde Khan is in DSS custody for so many years. You can see what is happening there. That was a Fulani terrorist collaborating with soldiers of Fulani. Even calling the other friends of theirs. Letting know, them know that their friends, flying terrorists, are here. Nobody is going after them. Soldiers cooperate with them. Soldiers romance with them. Tinubu have not said anything about it. Neither the so-called Shetima, who is, was the creator of Boko Haram and flying terrorists. So that is what I'm talking about here. This alone is to show you that there is a plan, a secret plan to destroy Ibo land. The same thing they did in Imo state is what they are planning to replicate in Abia state. But they are going to fail. They are going to fail woefully. Because we are not here to allow anybody to destroy our life. What you should understand one thing. IPUB did not attack any soldier. 
the question is why are they even accusing IPOB when someone has already claimed when Eba has already claimed that his members were the ones that attacked the soldiers when I heard that and I was surprised the question is why is Eba killing Igbo soldiers if fully he is the one that did it as he claimed those soldiers were not confronting anybody even though I know that sometimes they behave like as if they owe Igbo land but they are not confronting anybody that day so why would IPOB go after them we recorded a great respect in that seat at home everywhere was empty people were at home resting eating the okazi soup and obolo and oha soup so why would i people go and attack soldiers the truth is this nigerian soldiers and their dss or maybe all these politicians are doing everything possible to destroy OT government. Why they are at it? They are making sure that the, the accusation go to IPOB and on the canal. Because why? Because OT said, I'm not my government is not ready to confront anyone trying to honor his forefathers who died in the war saving Ibos. The truth is that this thing is supposed to be enacted. In the law all this why in fact but because the governors will have a criminals that is why this we are still struggling to continue to make sure that it happened and we will never stop well i think i've come to the end of this thank you so much for watching